What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 25 free tweaks for iOS 8.3. So if you guys haven't jailbroken yet, be sure to check the link in the description below. I'll put a link down there for you to just click on and you can follow that tutorial that I made. Now, of course, you will also have to update mobile substrate to, in order to get these tweaks to work. So I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. Now, I'm actually thinking about doing a part two of free tweaks for iOS 8.3. If you guys want to see that, make sure you hit that like button. But once you have jailbroken and then you've updated your mobile substrate, that's when you want to start checking out these tweaks. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first one I want to talk about is Cylinder. You can see right here that basically what Cylinder does is give you these awesome page transitions, as you can see right there. There's also a ton that you can choose from. You just go into your settings here and you tap on Cylinder, make sure that it is enabled, tap on Effects, and you can see all the different effects that you have right here. So right now I just have it set up to Random, so you can see that it obviously changes every time that I switch a page. Next up we have swipe selection. So you guys probably know what swipe selection is, it's a pretty older tweak, but what it allows you to do is swipe across your keyboard here and you can see that it moves that cursor allowing you to edit text a whole lot easier. You can also do things like swipe across from the backspace key to highlight, just like that. Next up we have messages customizer and you can see what this does right here if we tap on our messages. You can see that you can change the color of the bubbles right here, you can also change the color of the background. You can also set up some app tint colors, you can see that I have a different color for the navigation bars right up here. And you also can turn on dark mode which I've done all these different things. And you can see right here if I actually jump into our settings here and we come out to messages customizer. You can see that all you need to do is make sure that it is enabled and you can change the color of the bubbles right here. You can also write down here, you can change the app tint, the background, and the info text. Of course, you also have some other settings which I was talking about where you can get the black keyboard as well as black nav bars. You can also use dark mode. Now this is just in beta, so it's not necessarily everything working, but still you can see that we get a pretty nice looking messages just from the features that are working right now. Now keep in mind that some of these tweaks you're going to have to install a source. I'll be sure to put all the sources or repos in the description below for you guys to just copy and paste. Next up we have Mobius. This is an awesome tweak and I highly recommend you guys downloading it. This is something that I always have on my device. I don't know why Apple hasn't implemented it yet, but basically what it allows you to do is swipe from the very first page, which I'm on right now, and you can swipe to your last page, just like that. So you can swipe back and forth so you don't have to go through all of your pages in order to actually get to your last page and then swipe across, just like that. So Mobius, definitely grab it. Next up we have a tweet called M Terminal or Mobile Terminal. So you can see right here that if we open that up, it's basically just a terminal on your iDevice. Now this can sometimes come in helpful when you have some issues with your jailbreak. Like earlier today, I actually tweeted about using M Terminal and just typing in UI cache in order to, you know, if you had any issues with your icons deleting, then that was actually going to fix that. So sometimes the, the terminal can come in useful, especially if you have to SSH into some things while you're on the move. But if you don't do that and you don't really know what the terminal is, possibly don't need to download this. But again, if you run into any issues, it's always nice to have this on your device. Next up, we have two tweaks that pretty much go hand in hand, and that is Prism Board as well as Smooth Pop. So with Prism Board, it's basically going to change the color of the keys. So you can see when I type these or type on these keys, that's purple. If I type over here, it's more of a faded blue. Up here is gonna be orange, and you can see green. So basically that's what that does. It changes the color of those key presses. Now what Smooth Pop does is actually fade the key out after the key press. Rather than going straight up down, it basically goes up and then fades out. So it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see how these work. And I think just the keyboard just looks a little bit better while you're typing like that. So if you want to check both of those tweets out, definitely do. Now we also have another keyboard tweak called Showcase. And you can see what that does right here. We have all lowercase keys on the keyboard, but if I hit that shift key, you can see that it's gonna capitalize all those letters. Of course, this is something that's going to be in iOS 9. So finally, Apple's listening to us, but you can see right here that that is a staple jailbreak tweak that I always have on my device, but we don't have it quite yet on 8.3, so I definitely recommend checking that out and downloading it. Now you guys have probably already noticed, but by default 2 actually works on iOS 8.3, and you can see right here that I'm actually using a font called Architect's Daughter. So if you like that font, definitely check it out. Now we also have Power Plus. So you can see right here, if I just hold down on the power button, you'll see that we're gonna get three options right over here. Right up here at the top, this is going to power off. The middle is going to respring. Right here is gonna show us the lock screen. And then of course, if you change your mind, you can just tap that little X right there to close out. 
Next up, we have a pretty subtle tweak, but one that I use all the time, and that's called smooth cursor. So you can see right here, if I just start to type, you'll notice that that cursor isn't jumping you know, from one letter to the next. It's actually pretty smooth. And you'll notice when I hit the enter key, let's start over here, you'll actually see it moving across rather than actually just jumping from the end to the start. So you can see it kind of move across. And that's all that smooth cursor does. It just gives you kind of more of a higher frames per second cursor rather than what you would normally get in iOS 8. No jailbreak would be complete without the good old Zeppelin. So you can see right here that we have that installed right here. And what this does is basically give you another little option or graphic for your carrier up there. So you can, these are all stock. You can obviously download additional ones from Cydia, but you can see you can have the Abstergo, Android, Apple, Assassin's Creed, Autobots, Batman. There's just a ton of different ones that you can select from. And you can see that those automatically take effect right up there by that Wi-Fi indicator. We also have Swish Switcher, which is kind of hard to say, but you can see right here, if we just swipe over, and let's say that we're gonna close out of M Terminal, if you listen, it basically just gives a little audio cue when you do just that. So if you want that, check it out. Here we have a tweak called Close All, which is very helpful, especially if you open up a ton of tabs like I do. Basically, all you gotta do is just tap and hold on any of the X's, and it's going to ask you, do you wanna close all of your tabs? You just tap yes, and it should close them out. I think I missed it a couple times and then I hit it on that last one. So that's all that that does. Of course, you probably noticed that I have a five by six layout right here. So this is due to a tweak called better five column home screen. And that obviously is going to give you five icons across right there. So if you wanna grab this tweak, this is another one that you're gonna to have to add a repo. So be sure to check the description below. Here we have another tweak that I've been using on my device since it came out and that's called Cheesecake. It actually gives a Android-esque type lock screen as you can see right there. Not a lock screen, but uh, lock animation. So if we hit the lock button here, you'll notice that it's going to kind of zoom out and fade out at the exact same time. It's pretty subtle, but it's still pretty nice as you can see right there. Next up, we have a tweak called Long CCB. So if I swipe up on this, basically what this allows you to do is long press on these indicators, allowing you to go directly to that settings panel. So for instance, if we tap and hold on the Wi-Fi, you'll notice if we tap and hold on this, it's going to open up the Wi-Fi settings. Again, if we do it on, let's say the uh, Bluetooth, tap and hold on that, it's gonna bring us directly to Bluetooth. So just kind of a quick way to get to those settings options if you need to go in there for any reason. Now you guys have probably already noticed this, but I have circle icons in my settings, as you can see right there, and that's due to a tweak called circle icons. So you can see you can remove all icons, you can actually change this from circle back to default at any point if you don't like the circle or you can just uninstall it. But I like the look of the circle icon, so I always keep it on my device. Now you'll notice here if I go to my lock screen, that we're actually not going to see any type of grabbers or anything like that. We don't see the control center grabber, the notification center grabber, the camera grabber. I've actually hidden all these things using a tweak called Hide Me 8 Lite. Now there's a ton of stuff that you can do with this tweak. I highly recommend you download this just because of all the things that you can hide. You can make your device look extremely, extremely minimalistic and there's a lot of stuff that you can just get rid of. So you can see that you enable this and then you have your configuration. So you go in here, you can change basically a lot of different things. You can hide a lot of things in your control center, your lock screen notification center. You can also go in here to your springboard and hide some things. Uh, down here, you also have your status bar. So there's a lot of different things you can hide in every single one of these. And then once you've done that, just respring your device and you're good to go. Now I've never heard anybody say they like the volume HUD. So you can see right here that I actually have a transparent volume HUD right there. And that's due to a tweak called HUD Transparent 8. So if you wanna get rid of that annoying blur that you get, especially while you're watching videos, then go ahead and download HUD Transparent 8. Now I'm sure you guys noticed that my animations are going really quick and that's due to a tweak called Speed Intensifier. So you have a couple options right up here, Simple, Fusion, Advanced, and App. I just have mine set up on Simple right now and you can see that you can just choose the speed in which you want your speed intensifier to speed up those animations. So do you want it to be seven times, 10 times, you know, however you want that set up. But you can see right here, three and four times are actually pretty good too. So you can see what that looks like. It's just a whole lot more snappy than it is just in the regular uh, iOS. And you can see right down here, you can also take this to the next level. You can change stiffness, damping, and mass. Now, in addition to Better 5 Column Home Screen, I also have installed Better 5 Icon Dock. So you can see right here, if I just wanted to grab this 
and throw it down into the dock, you can see we get five icons right there in the dock. And that's actually gonna be in the same repo as better five column home screen. Now, also in that same repo, we have a tweak called date in status bar. Of course, what that does, you guessed it, throws that date right there in the status bar. And that's just something that I always like to have just because I don't always have my calendar app on my home screen or my first page on my springboard. So I like to just look at my status bar and being able to tell what the date is. All right, guys, so that's the top 25 free tweaks for iOS 8.3. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments below. Of course, you guys, again, want to see a part two of the top 25 free tweaks in iOS 8.3. Make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, if you want to stay up to date with everything Jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, until next time, peace.